In Lesson 7, we're going to take a look at the types of modules that are available to you in Access 2007. We're going to begin by taking a look at standard modules. We're going to follow that up by looking at form modules and then at report modules. Finally, we're going to take a quick look at class modules. Let's get started. I'm here in the Northwind 2007 database and I'm going to open up the navigation pane. I'm looking right now at the list of tables. What I'm going to do is open up the drop-down and go to modules. Here we have a few modules that are part of the Northwind 2007 database. For example, I have a utilities module. If I right-click and go to design view, I'm taken to a code window where I can see the contents of this module. I can scroll down within the module and notice that I have functions and subroutines that make up the module. These functions and subroutines perform various tasks that are needed within the application. To get back to the Microsoft Access environment, I can click the Microsoft Access tool right over here. Now what I'm going to do is create my own module. I go to the Create tab. I come over here to Other, use the Macro drop-down, and select Module. By the way, I could have done this right here within the Development environment using the Insert menu and selecting module, but I wanted to show you how to do it from within the access environment. So here we have a brand new module and if I wanted to create a subroutine I can simply type sub my new routine press enter and I now have a new subroutine. If I want to create a function I type function my second routine and here is my second routine which is a function. So this is a module and I can call these routines from anywhere within my application as long as they're what's called public. These are automatically public but if I want to make sure that if I, I've explicitly declared them as public I use the public keyword before sub or function. So there we go. What I'm going to do is go back to the access environment and now what I'm going to do is go to a form. In my forms I'm going to go to the form called employee list and I'm going to open it up in design view. So here I have my employee list form. If I click this command button right over here and I go to the event tab, notice that I have what's called an embedded macro. That's one of our options which is to use an embedded macro covered earlier in this course in order to execute something that we want to have happen within our application. Another option is to write code. What I'm going to do is actually close this form, create a brand new form in design view, and now I'm going to add a command button to my form, but I'm going to make sure that I have the wizards turned off. So I'm going to select button, I'm going to place a command button on my form, and the caption is going to be say hello I'm going to name this CMD say hello and I'm going to go to the event tab when somebody clicks this command button I have a private subroutine called CMD say hello click and what I'm going to do is simply message box 
Hello there. That's all I'm going to do. I go back to Access, I run the form, and I click Say Hello. And I get my message box, Hello there. So what I've done here is I've created a module behind this Command button. I'm in the code behind the form. So this is form code. If I come over here to my project, we can see that there's code written behind the monthly sales report. If I double click the monthly sales report, we can see that there's code, for example, written in the report's open event. If I go back over to access, and go to my reports and find the monthly sales report open it in design view notice that I have an open event and if I click the build button here we are back in that open event this is a report module and this particular code is going to execute in response to the report opening. We have one more type of module and that's called a class module. I can insert one right here by inserting a class module. This looks very much like a standard code module. It's very similar but it also does some special things which we're going to cover later in this training series. For right now, I just want you to understand that there are four types of modules. A normal code module, a form module, a report module, and a class module. 